Hello, I'm Bigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Monday. Let's talk about the Goddess Bridget and Sacred Wells. Now, the Goddess Bridget has a myriad of associations with water, and this element is sometimes seen as the uniter of the earth and the sky. Water rises up from the darkness, up from the hidden depths, and hiding goodness knows what. And then on the surface of the water, it reflects the sunlight, it reflects the sky, and this shimmering is the point of connection and the actual bridge between the earth and the sky. Water is also, quite literally, absorbed by the sky. It forms the clouds, it's moved around by the wind, and when the water becomes concentrated enough, it falls from the sky back to the earth as rain and sometimes even as a storm. This natural cycle is constantly flowing, and without it, uh, life in the physical realm simply could not exist. The spiritual significance of this cycle is something that the goddess Bridget is in a position to teach us. Now, water is the element of healing and of the restoration of life. Water nourishes the land and us. If we go three days without water, we will die. And if the land goes without, without water, the plants will wither. They will die. The animals become weak and sick, and they're forced to move on in search of water. But when water is plentiful, life thrives. Now, obviously, plant and animal life in deserts have adapted to the sparse water conditions, but even they can't do without water for, for forever. It always has to come back. Uh, for most of our illnesses that we experienced, what are one of the things we're encouraged to do? Take in plenty of fluids. And this is because water can cleanse our system. It can loosen the hold of many of the ail ailments that we have and literally flush them out of, out of our body. And this hurries along the recovery process, which is why doctors are forever nagging us to do that. Uh, water is a great cleanser just in general. How would we clean our physical surroundings without it? And of course, this cleaner environment at home, it promotes physical and mental health. It makes daily life more pleasant and going about our daily affairs just that much easier. Now, like the earth, water is also the tomb and the womb, and it's part of the mysteries of the goddess and also the mysteries of the goddess Bridget. Uh, burial at sea has been a custom for as long as humankind has sailed. Uh, the water envelops the body and begins the deconstruction process. And in time, the broken down raw components of the former body will nurture new life and enables the cycle of life to continue. Our lives begin literally in the waters of the womb. A part of the process of birth is for those waters to break. So in a matter of speaking, we are all born of a flood. So this element, for biological and spiritual reasons, it is firmly within the purview of the goddess, and the cauldron of rebirth is simultaneously the tomb and the womb. It is death and life, and Bridget herself is part of these larger mysteries. Her roles in the first stirrings of life at Amalk are well known, but her mythology also has associations with death. And we are going to explore that a lot further in next week's video. Uh, but I think that's it uh, for today. Uh, if you'd like to carry on the discussion, please come see me at Blackbird's Brew on Discord. There will be a link to join in the description box below. In the meantime, if you would, please subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.